So I got a nerd corner for you. But as you may have seen, I can summon up a little nerd rage sometimes. But this time I'm talking about not a video game, but Naruto, the manga. So those of you just watching the anime or behind or something, spoiler warning. So let me level with you. I'm a big fan of Naruto, right? I've been watching the manga since the beginning, pretty much. Like, been reading this thing, keeping up with it, and great times, right? But now where we are in it, if you're current with all the releases, mind you, spoiler again, about to happen, you are warned. With the whole Uchiha's being the final villain, more or less, unless something else happens with, you know, Orochimaru or whatever. With the stupid Uchiha being the final villains here, let's, let's be honest, they're lame. Why are they lame? Because all of their problems come down to when I didn't get what I want, so screw the whole world forever. When it's a tamper tantrum. Bunch of infants. Oh no, the girl I like died. Yeah, that sucks. Having someone you care for die really sucks. A healthy response is getting the fuck over it with time and whatever else you need to, working through your issues and becoming a better person, right? You know? growing and changing as life throws you tragedies. Or you can just be like, man, fuck it, I've got powers. I'll just wreck it all. But like Madara's complaint, right? What has he got? Why is he so angry? And why, you know, is he got all this destroy the world or wrap it in illusion stuff going on? If you've read the manga, you know the answer and it still sucks, doesn't it? It's not some world-altering, I need to save the entire world from a great evil and I've turned bad because of the pressures or anything. It's a... Life's hard. I don't like it. You know, I want my girlfriend back. I want life to just be easy. I want things to just work out instantly. Well, fuck you, man. <coughs> fuck your face. Who cares? It's so what it comes down to is... I did a video a while ago, like, you're not that important, and you have to matter. Well, here's an egregious violation of the theme of that video, which is, these motherfuckers seem to assume that because they exist, the universe needs to work out exactly as they want it to in the moment. They need to get what they want instantly and without effort. No trials, no tribulations, no work. Why don't things just happen, damn it? You know what we call that? Spoiled brat. That's what we call that. When someone just sits there and says, I want my money now. They're in a J.G. Wentworth commercial, and they're also a spoiled brat. And Luchi has like, I want my woman now. And it's fucking stupid. Like, I love the manga to death, but I'm tired of these whiny emo bitches of the Uchiha being like, we're going to fuck up the whole world because we have adjustment issues. Like, look at the entire clan when they existed. What were they doing? Let's overthrow the leaf, which is inarguably the best, least violent, least evil, least horrifying ninja village in the whole setting. Let's make them a lot more bloody and evil. No, no, fuck you. I mean, you want to do some bloody ass, like, kill all of your fellow students type training shit. That's what Root was for. You already had that, dumbasses. Like, what are you doing? The whole entire story of the Uchiha seems to come down to, let's not learn moderation. Let's not practice any form of good enough. Let's want everything instantly. Oh, we want to run the village because. Are we going to do a better job? Who fucking cares? We're just going to run this bitch now. We're oppressed, right? You're oppressed by being the most powerful ninja clan in like the world. You're oppressed by being the secret police. By the way, if you are the ninja equivalent of the KGB, you don't get to call yourself oppressed. You are an oppressor. Sorry. If you're the magic ninja KGB, you're oppressing people. Sometimes quite literally. <laughs> they have torture there. Don't forget. They were the Anbu secret police. They were oppressing people. But no, they weren't oppressing them hard enough, I guess. <laughs> no, they weren't being cartoonishly, snidely, whiplash villainous enough, I guess. I don't know, but start to finish, when you look at the Uchiha motivations... It comes up a lot short here, compared to, like, what was Payne's motivation? Well, he had some, I'm gonna make the world learn suffering. It was an evil goal, in a sense, but he had a good motivation, didn't he? I'm gonna make the whole world know what it's like to feel pain so that they won't want to inflict it on each other. Alright, you're very twisted, but there's still a goal there that's more than just, I want to hurt people because I was hurt once. And, like, I want from my 
games, my animes, my mangas, final sort of villains with meaning. I want a villain that I can, even if I hate their guts, even like, oh, he's just retarded or whatever, you know? Like, I want to have a villain where I can at least say I know where he's coming from. I know why he's a villain and I can get behind that to a degree. Yeah, if, it, if somebody went through that, you could snap. Not with the Uchiha's. Like, oh, Madara, he was a power-hungry bastard who lost a battle with another power-hungry bastard, and oh no, he didn't get to found his little village of stooges. I don't care. That's stupid. It's not a motivation for destroying or enslaving or imprisoning or in dreaming, whatever word you want to use, the whole world. It's not. See, a truly excellent villain is relatable. You can understand them, and even if you disagree with them completely, which often will happen with a villain, of course, you can sit there and say, well, I get where he's coming from, and all right, to a point, if I went through that and I saw things as he did, I could see. But like with Toby, Obito, whatever the fuck you want to call him now, Mater Obi Toby, you know, Obi Toby, I like that. But um, his motivation comes quite really down to my life sucks and I took no effort to make it better, so instead I'm going to make everyone else's life suck. Like, way to shoot for a lowest common denominator with world-changing powers. You have the infinite Tsukiyomi plan, the ten-tailed beast, and the power to fire nuclear goddamn weapons from its mouth at rapid fire, basically. And that's the best you can come up with. Really. That's the best you can do. With infinite power. Like, that's not even good villainy at that point. That's... Dumb villainy. It's bad. It's ugh. It's, it just makes me go angry face. Because <laughs> when I read it, I don't care about that villain. I don't care. Oh, the adventures of Madara. Whatever. <laughs> like he's he's a dumb pants, and he's he, fuck him. <laughs> I can't care any more than that because I don't relate. That's just a moment of nerd rage for you. Wreck it all. Including the cars. <laughs> yes, wreck the car. I don't care about that. Infinite Tsukiyomi, that bitch.